Hello everybody, it's Kenneth Arthur here with Field Goals again, and I have a very important announcement to make uh, by way of a memo uh, sent to me by Roger Goodell um, to deliver to football fans of America, and it's pretty important. Um, why did he send it to me? I do not know. I'm wondering the same thing. Am I in the top 10,000 of people you'd expect to deliver this? No. I wouldn't say I'm in the bottom 10,000. I wouldn't say I'm there. Maybe not in the top, but I'm not in the bottom. Uh, I made Sports Illustrated's top 10,000 Seahawks bloggers of 2011. 7,000 and seven. So anyway, let's just get to it. This is the memo that Roger Goodell is delivering to all the football fans. Good evening. He was expecting this to be read at night. He was right. Um, Good evening, NFL fans. This is your commissioner, Roger Goodell. This is definitely from me. This past week, we saw a great performance by Russell Wilson against the Denver Broncos in the second half. It was unbelievable to me as I watched there and saw him play this phenomenal game unlike anything that I or anyone else has ever seen. It would appear that Russell Wilson is like if you took the uh, if you took uh, Tiger Woods. I'm having a hard time reading it. That's why I'm struggling. If you took the Tiger Woods, uh, Michael Phelps, uh, Peyton Manning, uh, Michael Jordan, and also Jerry Rice. If you took all of their sperm and made it into one, and then if you also took uh, an egg, eggs from uh, Jackie Joyner Kersey and Lisa Leslie and Lauren Jackson and uh, Misty Mae Trainer and my wife, Mrs. Goodell, throws his wife in there, sweet guy, and made those into oval, <laughs> ovals, oval teen. Uh, what it really said is ovaries, but made it into one. And then you connected all of that together to make one baby. It would be half as good as Russell Wilson. Clearly, everybody in the NFL is outmatched by this incredible athletic specimen. Something has happened with DNA, unlike what we can understand, to make the greatest not football player, not athlete, not human, but thing in the universe. Just all around thing. This is the greatest. It is with great regret that I must say that we might have to shut down the NFL for it is unfair to the other teams, players, owners, and fans to have one person that is oh so great. It would be hard for me to imagine an NFL that can go on successfully where only one player wins all of the MVPs, all of the Super Bowls, all of the endorsement money, there is only Russell Wilson now. We are just his peons. The only way that we could hope to save the sport would to potentially have Russell Wilson agree to retire from football. Then we can go on back to our lives before Saturday against Denver's third string players to what it was like to have an NFL where you had good mediocre, great, and bad, and not just had Russell Wilson and a whole lot of bad in comparison to Russell Wilson. But if we could ask him to please leave the game the way it was, then we can go on. Maybe if we agreed to give Russell Wilson $1 billion for every year until he is dead, which could be a very long time because I do not imagine that he is mortal such as us. We could also agree to take any video, picture, or gif of his wife making that ridiculous face off of the internet in some sort of Alyssa Milano crusade. Except we would be successful because we must if we are to have football ever again in the future. Please do your part to contribute to getting Russell Wilson 
to gracefully accept leaving the NFL so that we may go on. And then we will spend the rest of our days worshiping just that one man, allowing him to make our decisions both political and religious, and then there can only be one. Yesterday, or even potentially on Saturday, is what I meant to write, and I do not have a delete key, so you have to keep reading this, Kenny. Uh, on Saturday, Russell Wilson had one of those Neo moments where he realized he was the one. Thank you for your service, Russell, but we must ask you, gracefully, to leave. And that's it. That's some pretty serious shit. So, uh, think about that for a while, and uh, we'll see you next time. Keep tuning in. Go, Russell Wilson. All praise be to you.